We always knew that if we looked after the planet, it would look after us. But we were always more interested in looking after ourselves. By 2020, everyone was paying the price. Global warming was gripping our planet. Many countries became deserts, and a mass exodus of climate refugees began looking for sanctuary. Countries like the United Kingdom quickly became overrun, forcing us to shut our borders. But still, there was no way to escape the escalating energy crisis, as fossil fuels finally dwindled to alarming levels. Yet our appetite for energy remained undiminished. With no practical alternatives to power our lives, the world faced an uncertain future. Our eyes turned to the Arctic and to the vast oil fields rumored to lie under the melting ice. I knew the situation was desperate but feared the consequences of drilling below this fragile wilderness would be catastrophic. I needed proof. So when my friend called, promising me the evidence. I headed north. Down there. Spending your life theorizing about climate change hunched over a computer is one thing, Tom. Now it's time for the sharp end. You've come this far. It beats briefing a bunch of suits at the Polar Alliance. Right, let's take it nice and slow, Tom. One wrong move out here can be fatal. Let's just make sure we stay near the crevasse wall. The ice gets more fragile in the middle. Picture? Okay, it's up. My God. This is so much worse than I thought. The halo rig's drilling in this area. About 20k north, but they're, they're constantly on the move. Who else has seen this, Ben? And you're the only one I've managed to convince to come out here. No one at Halo wants to know, unsurprisingly. Oh, shit. Must have got stuck on a ledge or something. Damn it. Yeah. You secure yourself here. I'll see if I can swing it free. Right, so what do I... Just stop me if I fall. Come on. How's that? Enough. 
anything. What's that? The ice is shifting. Stay against the wall until it passes. Your point. The Arctic is an unforgiving and murderous place, Tom. It's starting to take what we're doing here personally. in the first place, Tom. They needed to see what was going on out there firsthand. Well, that was not your call to make. Our remit is to check that Halo's drilling rig meets the terms of their license agreement. Full stop. There's a lot more at stake here than a bloody drilling license. Now, listen to me. You need to get your emotions in check. They said that you could have been seriously injured. You could have put Halo employees in danger having to rescue you. Given what I found, that's completely irrelevant. As chair of the Polar Alliance, I must remain neutral. And your job is simply to present the facts. Can you do that, Tom? Can you present the facts? Have you got a better jacket than that? The Greenland ice sheet is a fragile and endangered landmass, which is why I must advise against the renewal of Halo Oil's drilling license. These images were taken inside the Greenland ice sheet last week. They show rivers of meltwater running underneath the glacier. This means that the sea ice, which holds up the Greenland glacier, is melting at a rate far higher than our worst predictions. Without the support of the sea ice, the glacier's destruction is inevitable, releasing billions of litres of water into the ocean. This could desalinate the Atlantic to the extent that it causes the Gulf Stream to shut down, the very mechanism which brings warm weather to the Northern Hemisphere. If that were to eventuate, the whole of the Northern Hemisphere could be plunged into a new era of year-round sub-zero temperatures, potentially a new ice age. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. My understanding of the purpose of today's meeting was that Professor Archer had some new evidence that he wanted to present. I, mean, I won't dignify what he's presented today by calling it evidence, so let's concentrate on the question of whether it's new or not. The Greenland glacial system is in a constant state of change. It is the nature of the beast. I'm quoting from The Ice Storm Cometh, a book by Professor Tom Archer published some eight years ago. What we're talking about today 
is the unprecedented rate at which the melt is accelerating. By unprecedented, you mean that you and the other climate change experts failed to predict it, just as you failed to predict the devastating droughts in Italy and Spain. Yes, that's exactly my point. What we need to do is to learn from those mistakes and try and avert the next disaster before it happens. Nobody denies that we are in the grip of a massive climate change. This is a worldwide phenomenon, and so is the unprecedented energy crisis that we're facing, and the answer to that lies in the Arctic. And as far as HALO's work there is concerned, Professor Archer has provided us today with precisely zero evidence linking our drilling program with any effect on the glacier. Well, then you haven't been listening. While I was there, the sea ice was hit by a glacial earthquake, and I don't think it's a coincidence that halo oil is drilling a mere 20 kilometers north of the glacier. Professor Archer. Do you deny you're drilling in a seismically active area? Halo is deeply offended by the implication that we would in any way neglect our environmental responsibilities. But that is precisely what you're doing. Simon, you need to act. You need to suspend all drilling and mount an investigation. The reason that we were awarded the license in the first place was because of our impeccable record on green issues. Our chief executive, Anthony Kavanaugh, two-time winner of the Al Gore Halo. Award. This is not about Halo. Professor you Professor listen to me. This is ridiculous. It's about Mr. whether Chairman, anyone should finish, be drilling please? in Greenland. Professor Archer, you need to sit down now, please. You are turning this into an argument Professor about Archer. an oil company. You know, over the years, Halo Oil has sunk more than 20 wells along the San Andreas Fault in California, one of the most seismically active areas in the world. Mr. Kavanaugh, could I please have a word? It's Tom, isn't it? Yeah. No hard feelings about what happened in there, huh? No, look, Dr. Pitt was just doing her job as she sees it. But if you're the man she says you are, surely you don't want to be held accountable an environmental disaster. See, Tom, I wish you'd understand that you and I are on the same side. The Arctic was always going to be drilled one way or another with the fuel shortages that we've had. So I fought tooth and nail for Halo to get the contract to keep the cowboys out because, you see, Tom, sustainability is everything to us. Mr. Cowanoff, could you please reconsider? Of course I'm looking to it. We've put half a billion dollars into this search. But if I thought for one second that we were damaging the ice, I'd pull my people out of there and never look back. Goodbye, Tom. With due respect, Mr. Kavanaugh, you, you are damaging, uh, you are damaging the ice. What the hell was that about? I should be asking you that. We have to work within the system. You know that as well as I do. All right, so we can keep protecting companies like Halo. These things take time. That's the one thing we don't have. We've known each other for a long time. I have never seen you this out of order. I've got to hand it to Kavanaugh. Using Sarah Fitch was a brilliant bit of spin. Put the world's leading environmental legal consultant on retainer for your petroleum company. Listen, I'm sorry, Tom. But after today's hearing, I have no choice but to renew Halo's drilling license. It was a passionate speech, Tom, but we need more than instinct and emotion. So that's it. Tom. If you could have provided just one piece of irrefutable evidence that proves that what's going on in Greenland is because of the drilling process, then I could stop it in an instant. Until then, we're in the middle of an energy crisis, and I can't tell the Prime Minister he'll have to deny people the right to heating next winter. At what cost? Tom? I'm resigning. Really? Simon, what is being broken today is not going to go back together again. Well, I think it's a good thing you're having this time off. I'll give my regards to your father. In position now. Lockdown. Commence drilling. Hydrostatic pressure is... Good. Listen up! The drill's at 2,400 feet and about to hit the seabed! Prepare for a little bump! Okay, we're all set. 2,600 feet. 
You're early. Well, I see it's Chateau numb your senses as cheaply as possible this evening. Not much to celebrate. I quit. What happened? I just hit the wall. I keep saying the same old shit to the same deaf ears, and I just... This time, I was so sure I had a case. And I blew it. We'd better drink this crap. Come on. Hi, no, sweetheart. All right? We finish our game tonight after dinner. Millie! So, not only does she not want to go to the UK in the first place, now she's got a better offer. Mm -hmm. Did you say no? Well, what choice did I have? Millie, we need to talk. What's to talk about? It's a done deal, like always, isn't it? Look, look, I'm sorry about your birthday, but Granddad's been sick. Like I said, nothing to talk about. Sweetheart. No. Just no. All my life, you've dragged me from one country to the other. No regular school, no regular friends, one apartment after the other. And now, just when there's a chance I might be getting a life of my own, we have to go back to England to see Grandad. Grandad, who's never remembered my birthday ever, or anything important for that matter. He doesn't remember birthdays. He doesn't remember my birthday. 
So why is he acting like he cares now? I don't know. Maybe something's changed. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Millie! They've got to stop drilling, Tullock. The conservation unit isn't here to make those decisions, Ben. We're here so Kavanaugh can get his face on the cover of Planet Magazine again. We're here. That's the point. They get their PR. We get to monitor the ice. What's wrong with that? Ben, any sign of a polar bear family? No, no, no sign. Plenty of sign of what Halo's doing to their home, though. Oh. And you'll be pleased to know your mate Archer's just been trying to get the Polar Alliance to shut the rig down. Trying? Hmm. Sarah Fitch made quite a fool of him, so I hear. If they shut down this rig, we're out of business, too. Oh, by the detail, I know. Us losing our jobs when work is so scarce. But that had occurred to you, hadn't it? You know, I just don't get you guys. I mean, we're supposed to be Halo's conservation unit. Oh, come on, Ben. You, you, you seem completely prepared to ignore the effect they're having on the ice just so you can protect your own little fiefdom. We're not ignoring anything. In the whole time we've been here, you haven't come up with one iota of evidence linking Halo with the melt. Yeah. Maybe I have this time. How long have we lost, Quinn? Buddy, nine hours at most, boss. We'll make sure that is the max. I got three of my most experienced riggers in the med bay. Dr. Petrov, how long till they can be back at work doing what I'm paying them to do? The good badly toasted. A few weeks, minimum. Bring on some of the rotation crew. That wasn't any ordinary blowout. The guys are worried here. All right, double pay to anyone who'll stay the course. Maybe that'll settle a few nerves. The conservation guys were there when we were cleaning up. Ben Jameson seems very close to Professor Archer. Well, let him recall he wants. We got nothing to hide. Thank you. been for nothing. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I've <sighs> all the all the time up ending us, all the months away from you and Millie, I feel like all of it has been for nothing. That's just not true. Well it's not for nothing. Mm -hmm. You're a good man. Heard you got your ass kicked. Yeah, he was a disgrace. Sarah Fitch, don't let her looks fool you. She's like a Rottweiler with lip gloss. Ben, we've, we've got a pretty bad line. I can hardly hear you. Yeah, there must be atmospheric interference, I'm afraid. Bad weather closing in here. Look, listen, Tom, I've got it. OK, I've got everything we need to shut them down. That's brilliant, Ben, but I can't help. I'd, I'd quit. I'm running the test now. Ben, can you hear me? I've resigned from the Polar Alliance. You what? No one from Halo or the Alliance or from anywhere listened to a thing I said. Okay? You and I are alone on this. Tom, listen, you can't give up on me now, okay? Not now. Look, I'd love to help, but I'm out of the picture now. Yeah, but this is beyond doubt, okay? Listen. I need you to meet me. 82nd floor of the North Building. Ellsworth Street East, okay? The meeting's gonna last 14 minutes. Tom, do you copy that? No, I don't understand. Ellsworth, what? I back up. the 82nd floor of the North Building. Ellsworth Street The meeting's gonna last 14 minutes, okay? What meeting? Ben! I, I couldn't get that, sorry. Tom. Tom. What was that about? You know, the weather's cut communication. We will be off the air till it clears.
I'm not going. I've quit. I'm not going. Tom, you can't not go. You have to go and find out what Ben's talking about. I'm coming with you and Millie. I'm not, I'm not with the Polar Alliance anymore. It's not like I can just go out there on my own. Why, well, is there some way that you can get yourself no, there? No, there's not. Okay, there's not. So you're just going to walk away? This is it? It's not who you are. Be in London by Tuesday. For Millie's birthday. Millie, sweetheart. Time, but um, I need you back in Greenland, I'm afraid. I'm not through there till next week. There's been a blowout at the rig. Nothing serious. Gas pocket. Gas? Yeah, I think we're getting closer. But the way Archer came after us at the Polar Alliance Forum, I'd just feel better if I knew you were there making sure no one finds a way to twist this, you know? Okay, I'm on it. Oh. And by the way, I thought we had an agreement about this rock climbing. That's what I do, Anthony. You're important to me, Sarah. I worry about you. Oh, hi, Gozaimas. Come on, you're going to miss your flight. I know. Oh, it speaks. My mistake won't happen again. Darling, you've got a plane to catch, too. We can, we can take care of ourselves. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. And I love you. I'll see you soon. Be careful out there. It could have been a bit nicer. I'm sorry. one. Professor Archer. Dr. Fitch, what are you doing here? I'm trying to beat the weather. What are you doing here? I'm just exercising the Polar Alliance's right under your licensing agreement to make regular monitoring visits. Please, you were out here two weeks ago. Will you get it in your head? Halo isn't doing anything wrong. You keep saying that, you might end up believing it. You're out of your depth, Archer. You should have realized that by now. Bravo Romeo Alpha Halo, 2-0, ready for takeoff. Northern European countries have launched a security crackdown after a new influx of illegal immigrants attempted to cross from the south. The measures are causing widespread disruption and it led to increase border
Next. You were last in Britain in 2012. That's right. We were here for the Olympics. And what have you been doing in the United States? Oh, you know, playing baseball and saving the world. I'm sorry, she's tired. Um, my husband is an advisor for the Polar Alliance Arctic Preservation Subcommittee. You'll need to register with the Housing and Nationals Department within seven days. Seven days? I'm married to a British citizen. I've lived right, in that's the enough. You'll find new information. Excuse me. You need to register at the European National Centre. Yes. Okay, move on. Really, come on. Stephen? Jackie. <laughs> Millie? Where's Tom? Something came up. But he will be here by Millie's birthday. What? Isn't it always? You can't blame him for being passionate. Oh, no. It's one of the things I love about him. Not my fault, I'm afraid. He gets all that from his mother's side. <laughs> Rest her soul. So where exactly is he? The Arctic. A lone voice in the wilderness. The harvest's not bad this year. The Shiraz is excellent. Undertones of hedonistic blackberry with a modicum of lamb shake. You got over that vegetarian nonsense yet, have you, Millie? Stephen, we saw this man get arrested at the airport. I knew they'd ramped up security at the start of the European drought, but this was horrifying. INP, were they? Immigration and Nationality Police. They're getting really tired about who they allow in. Do you know they're talking about chipping non-nationals at all ports of entry? Microchips? Under the skin, like an injection. It's a brave new world, kids. Sarah? Hey, Talek. Weren't expecting you out here for a while. Yeah, it's a day for surprises. Did you know that Tom Archer was coming? The Polar Alliance don't tell us what they're up to. What about Ben Jameson? They're pretty tight, right? Well, most of the time, Ben doesn't tell us what he's up to either. Tulloch. Tom. Nice to see you again. It's Ben around. Catch you later, Tulloch. Yeah, will do. No, he's out on the ice. Do you know when he'll be back? Your guess is as good as mine. He left this morning without logging a route map. Damn it. What's going on? If you just wanted to talk to Ben, we do have a comms link. I'm just following up on my last visit. I have to be in England soon. There was a window. It's pretty routine. Fine. I'll sit you up a bit. Here we are. Home sweet home. Archer off my rig. You know, Anthony, you're really starting to worry me. No, I'm sorry. I'm just getting a little tired of this. I knew his friend Jamison still had been in his bonnet about it. Which is why I rather needed you out there. We need to know what sort of nonsense they're going to throw at us next and have our answer ready. You can't let them shut us down now. Not at this stage, even for a day or two. Reserves are virtually dry, and the price of oil has just hit an all-time high. If you throw him off the rig, the Polar Alliance will start thinking that he's actually onto something. Oh, you're right. You're quite right, as always. Don't worry, I can handle him. Oh, I never doubted that. Not for a moment. You know, last year we had a guy who lost a thumb. Cheers, straight off the knuckle. But the bonus of working up here, plenty of ice to pack it in. <laughs> they managed to find a thumb. I did a patch up, and Hello sent him back to the US for full surgery. You're talking about Michael? Since the accident, he can't play the piano. Yeah, but if you'd heard him before, that'd be a blessing, right? You must be Tom. Yeah. I'm Tanya. 
We didn't get to meet last time you were here. Kiwi. Get out of here. The other one. Aussie. Well, I always say Kiwi when I'm not sure. It's the same with Canadians. It pisses them off when you presume they're Americans. Be careful not to get too pally, Tanya. Remember, this was the joker who tried to get the Polar Alliance to shut this operation down. Look, oh, guys, I just want a quick word with Ben, and then I'll be gone. Right? Like I said before, who knows when he's likely to put in an appearance? We gave up trying to predict what he'd do a long time ago. Many likely to be joining us? Maybe just give her a little space for a while. Yes, I rather got the feeling she doesn't exactly see this as the trip of a lifetime. <clears throat> anyway. So tell me about the hospital, Stephen. The storm in a teacup. Couple of dizzy spells lately. You know how quacks are. Ingrown toenail, they're going to bung you in for tests. Now, don't spare my feelings. What do you think? Hmm? Mm. It's not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. Mm. It's good to see you. What's the deal with this archer guy? He's got some balls, I can tell you that, turning up here after trying to get a shut down. I wouldn't worry about it. He'll be gone soon. It was Jamison, guaranteed. He was hanging around after the blow. Yeah, but that was no big deal. Oh yeah, you should tell that to the guys in Medbay. There were injuries? Why wasn't Kavanaugh told about that? Of course he was told. Nothing happens on this rig he doesn't know about. I talked to him yesterday and he thinks the blowout was minor. Yeah, well it was. A couple of guys, superficial wounds. Three of my guys got hurt. Three? Okay, no biggie, Sarah. These things happen on oil rigs all the time. Doc will give you the lowdown. Nikolai? Superficial, yes. I expect them to be back at work, in a day at most. Okay then. I'm Sarah Fitch, Halo Oil's senior legal rep. It's about the blowout. I already talked to Quinn. He told me not to talk to anyone. Harold, I'm not anyone. I'm a head of legal affairs. Now, I know you don't get sulfur dioxide-based burns from a regular blowout. Can you tell me what happened in the drill room? Like, I don't know, 100 feet into the seabed. There was a gush of really hot water. Pressure continues to mount on the world's oil companies as the energy crisis enters a new phase. Consumer groups have demanded transparency about remaining reserves in a bid to alleviate public fears. However, violent protests across America have escalated in response to the continuing rise in energy prices. Several people have been injured in demonstrations against the soaring cost of food and fuel. The President of the United States has appealed for calm and reassured the public that every effort is being made to solve the energy crisis. Ben, it's Tanya. Do you copy me? Over. Is this the way he is? Okay.
pretending this is a routine visit, Tom? You turn up out of the blue with a bullshit excuse for being here. Now I find you going through Ben's stuff. Look, Talek, I'm just doing my job. All right? I'm trying to protect this environment. How about checking in with me before you start nosing around? Look, you've just made it abundantly clear that I shouldn't rely on you for anything. Despite what you may think, we are doing important work out here. And I'm not going to let you stuff that up. And since we're talking about each other's jobs, I'm pretty sure yours doesn't involve snooping through people's personal property. Okay. Hi, stranger. How are you, sweetheart? You're still on the rig, aren't you? Look, I'm sorry about Millie's birthday, but I've got to stay out here a bit longer. I haven't managed to catch Ben yet. He's out on the ice somewhere. Tom, I hope what you're doing up there makes all this worthwhile. That's all I'm going to say. Ben's on to something. Trust me. S sweetheart, I need you to do me a favor. Can you access his message from the hub? Just the last bit. Yes, hold on. Okay, he should be on now. I need backup. Okay, I need you to meet me at 82nd floor. Ellsworth Street East. Okay, the meeting's gonna last 14 minutes. Tom, what's that about? Okay, it's code for a map reading out here. Somewhere. <laughs> Ellsworth Street East, 14 minutes. That's the line of longitude. North building, 82nd floor, that's the latitude. Okay, it's less than 10 miles from here. But Tom, you can't go out there alone. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. What are you doing in here? And, um, could you, uh, remind me, uh, don't let me forget to pick up some duty free from Millie. Just a quick call to my wife. This area is restricted. You want to make a call, you go through the Polar Alliance comms. Okay. And you okay that with Quinn first. Okay, can I just finish this call? Make it fast. What's this about? It's just better if nobody knows what I'm up to out here. You can't do this on your own. If that's what's happening, get out. Get out. Come here and just let the Polar Alliance sort it out. I know the Polar Alliance is toothless. Just trust me one more day. I promise. I've got to find Ben's evidence. It's the future of the Arctic. Our planet's at stake. Come home. Please come home. North 82 East 14. Got it. What am I supposed to be looking for? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you out there, would I? How'd you get these coordinates? Keep your enemies close. You think I'd let the Polar Alliance on my rig unmonitored? No, 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 no. I need to know what they think they found out there. It's too much at stake here. Anthony, what about the... <laughs>
Where did you learn to read a map? Are you going to help? Or just watch? Is that a serious question? So where are you from? I know Italy, but what part? Well, that doesn't matter. It doesn't exist anymore. Sorry. Was it really as bad as they say? Your father's a climate scientist. You don't know. You live with it all your life. It gets a little, you know. Boring? No. It gets a bit like there's never anything else to talk about. I was only 10 when it started. My father said that we had never had a summer that hot. I thought it was beautiful. Until. October came, then November, still no winter. It was at Christmas when people started to panic. The food and water ran out, reservoirs burned dry, riots. Everyone tried to head north, and then they shut down the borders. If it wasn't for your grandfather, I would be dead. You know, it was Tom's idea to plant these vines when he was a student. Everyone thought he was mad, including me. He's always had a knack for being ahead of the game. So it's one endless, glorious summer now. Yes, but at what cost? I can't deny it, I love my life here. And honestly, if I thought it meant some respite for those poor buggers in Southern Europe, I'd go back to the way things were in a shot. Sarah found him. It's Ben Jameson. She found him on the ice. What happened? Taken by a fall on. Apparently. Get him the med bay. I can't think of anyone less likely to let himself be taken by a fall on. You turn up here unannounced. I find you poking around in Ben's room. You were out on the ice this morning near where he was found. You join the dots. What does that mean? I mean, that's absurd. Ben's my friend. Are those Ben's things? 
This is all that he's left behind. A few specimen jars. Stop until this is fully investigated. No, what we have to do is not overreact. Now think about it. What you have is some dubious test tube sample from an even more dubious source. Let us not discount the possibility that he set you up to find it. I don't think you understand. Ben Jameson died here today. No, I am aware of that. It must have been horrible for you. I'm thinking of, um, setting up a charitable donation in his name. I know the blowout was a lot worse than you told me. Sir, we are this close to bringing that field in. This close. Don't let me down now. Anthony, you're not listening to me. Your daughter only turned 16 once. Funny thing about this family. We never seem to be able to get the things that matter right, do we? Hmm? Ah, here she is. The birthday girl. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the delightful reason that we are all here this evening. <laughs> Millie, happy birthday, darling. Happy birthday. I'm sorry about your... about Ben. I know you guys were close. Does this mean you're leaving? Why would you presume that? I think we should share information. You must be joking. Oh, so you've identified it then, have you? What was in the sample? You have to have the right password. 
No one's been straight with me since I arrived on this rig. I don't like being lied to, and I don't like being used. Well, then you should have thought about that before you started working for Kavanaugh. You tell me where you got the sample from, and then I will tell you what's in it. Excuse my skepticism. You first. They're archaea, microbes that thrive in high water temperatures. Did you know there was an accident on the rig? No. I think the drillings opened up a hydrothermal vent. And superheated water is being forced out. The hot water's flowing out from the ocean floor. It's gonna melt the hell out of the sea ice. We lose the sea ice. There's nothing holding up the Greenland glacier. We lose that. We lose the Gulf Stream. Your prediction could come true, couldn't it? The whole northern hemisphere could freeze over. So Archaea, that's the evidence. Where did the sample come from? Ben must have found it out on the ice. North 82, East 14. Their calls are being monitored. No. You were the lock course, by the way. What did you find there? I found Ben. We need to go out there. We need to go out to where Ben found the map. We? We get images of this hydrothermal vent, we prove that it's melting the sea ice, and then we oh, go to the I'm Port sorry. of Lions. Sarah, you do realize that this means that Halo will be shut down, don't you? Okay. Agreed. Doesn't mean we have to like each other. Also agreed. Sorry, it's a bit of an antique. <laughs> Just like you, eh, Grandad? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so, so glad you could all be here tonight to celebrate the birthday of my granddaughter. Um, 16 years old. What can you say? Get around the back, get out the front. You can't just force your way in here. We have a warrant. Right, nobody Come pay me. Me. What the hell's going on? Everyone stay where you are. Stay calm. Stephen Archer. That's right, yes. This is a search and detain notice for your premises. I need IDs for everyone. There are no illegals here. Yeah, well, he doesn't look British. His mother is English. It's all in the paperwork. What about these two? You mean my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter? Documents. Excuse me. There. These are all fake. Look, these people don't represent a threat to anyone. Get all these in the van. You can't do this. I'd stay out of this if I were you. Just sit down. Am I inhaler? He's getting away! Really? Oh. Right, the room! Somebody will spot him. Not everybody's prepared to sell their country down a river. Take a look at this, sir. Well, well, looks like we've got another one. The officer at passport control gave me a week to renew it. That was before your daughter helped the illegal escape. She goes with the rest. It was my you need to run Jack. Need the jet ready in 40 minutes.
We need to hurry. There's some bad weather rolling in. Throw me down a torch. Okay, don't move. Crazy, Professor. I really think that we should just go back now. Let's just go. Don't move. If this gives way, we're in the Arctic Ocean. Oh my God. Very slowly. Back. We can use thermal vision, Sam. What? Turn off your torch. I still think Ben was an accident. Are you okay? You? Hello, one. This is Fitch. Can you hear me? Hello, one. This is Fitch. If you can hear me, come in, please. Never reach us in time anyway. Uh, 
This whole thing's filling up with water. It's gotta fill up. There has to be a way out of here. We're under 20 feet of ice. Not everywhere. There's the melt hole. The melt hole? We could swim out and come up through it. No, 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 no. We'll... It's about 10 meters. We would never make it. If we stay here, we die. It's a chance. It's our only chance. It has to be close. We find it, we swim out. At least we know the water's not going to be freezing. And here I was, worried about holding my breath long enough. Come on. Oh, God! We can do it. Some deep breaths. Very deep breaths. And then kick really hard. Okay. Okay. Here we, okay. Here we go. One. Two. Two. Three. <laughs> Thank you, Tanya. 
So where are they? We don't know. They took one of the skadoos and... Uh, well, no one's seen them since. You mean they've been out of the ice all this time? Well, I've been on the comms for hours trying to raise them. Queen called the search parties in. Well, anyone who goes out there searching in this is going to end up needing a rescue of their own. It's a white out. You can't see your hand in front of your face. Halo One, do you copy me? Over. Sarah, it's Tanya. Do you copy me? Over. First This frostbite is pretty bad. Take this. It should help. It's too soon to say if I can save your fingers. She's exhausted and a little hypothermic, but one frostbite is pretty serious. She may lose a finger, maybe two, but she's strong. We should let her sleep. All right, Doc. In the pocket. When did you get that? Uh, you know, when I drowned. I figured we'd need it, so. How are we gonna play this? I think we give the evidence to Peterson as soon as we're off the rig and get Kavanaugh shut down. Covered a 20 mile quadrant. We've got probe drills every hundred meters. Drill deeper, Mr. Quinn. And in the next 24 hours. There are limits, boss. The only limitations, Mr. Quinn, are those we impose on ourselves. With oil reserves reportedly at critical levels. Several countries, including the United Kingdom, have been forced to ration energy supplies. Medical facilities and emergency services remain unaffected. Get and loaded. Okay, you guys, move and get those pipes lowered! Did you feel that? They're drilling.
I'm going out through the window. No, Tom. Sarah, we don't have a choice. Tom, somebody out there is trying to kill us. If I... we don't stop them from drilling, we're going to be dead anyway. Now listen, keep warm. I'll be back as soon as I can. with me for many years on countless rigs more dangerous than this to meet his end in a simple fall it just beg us belief I guess you never really know how or when you'll go do you Give me some good news. Well, we're down to 3,500 feet, boss. And drilling. Coming up. Your drilling is opening up thermal vents. I'm really beginning to run out of patience. Do you know this. what this is? Archaea. They only survive in high water temperatures. And? They're thriving out there. You're raising the bloody temperature of the Arctic. Every foot you drill makes things worse. Thank you, Tom. You need to shut this rig down now. Or what? I've been out there. I've been on the sea ice. I've seen it with my own eyes. Any environmental qualms you might have, Archer, they are a drop in the ocean compared to what will happen if we run out of oil. Famine, wars, and apocalypse. Far worse than anything you or your green buddies could ever imagine. And the answer to the world's energy problems is right under our feet. We just need time to find it. We don't have time. Which is why you don't come on my rig and stop me doing my job. People's lives, whole countries are at stake. You're mad. Anthony, do you have any idea what kind of damage you're causing here? Come on, we all cause this. Global warming, climate change, is all a result of mankind's reckless abuse of the planet. I didn't create the demand, I just supply what everyone needs. So take a look at yourself. It's not just me that's responsible. It's all of us. And that includes you, and it certainly includes you. Get him off my rig. Who works for Polar Alliance? He's as much right to be here as you do. Well, that's not exactly true, is it, Professor? No, I resigned. You what? Professor Archer is trespassing, and because I've decided to terminate your contract, so are you. Get him off my rig and take the damn lawyer with him. Kavanaugh. Come on.
to evacuate this ring, do you understand? You need to get everybody off this ring now! Sound the siren! Do something, Quinn! Get him down to the holding bay! Get him down! Quinn! Listen Quinn. to us! Quinn! 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 Quinn. 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 Hear me! 
This is Tom Archer. Halo One Ring has been destroyed. The Greenland Glacier is next. Can anyone hear me? Unlike the weather office to make house calls. Minister, come in. We need your eyes on this as soon as possible, Minister. This satellite footage was taken over the Arctic an hour ago. Blue as ocean, white as ice landmass. <laughs> it's a mistake. That's solid ice. There's no ocean there. There is now. We sped up 30 minutes of satellite feed. The satellite shows a sudden and catastrophic loss of sea ice over the Arctic. At first, we thought it was an imaging malfunction, but we have no rational explanation. Halo Oil have got a rig about 20k from the edge of the glacier. We tried to call them, but all lines of communication are down. Didn't Professor Archer argue that if the sea ice were lost, the entire Greenland glacier would collapse? volume of fresh water released by the melting glacier could desalinate the Atlantic to the extent that it causes the Gulf Stream to shut down. If this happens, the whole of the northern hemisphere would be rapidly plunged into a new era of year-round sub-zero temperatures, potentially a new ice age. What shall we do, sir? Minister? to get your entire team on this right now. Where are you going? To try and explain this to the Prime Minister. Anita. Yes, sir? Get Tom Archer on the line for me. He's at his father's place. I need him here now. Sarah, we really need to move. Papa. You'll await deportation back to your country of origin. That could take days, it could take weeks. Weeks? All right, check the list of contents. Side at the bottom. Not making a very good start, are we? detention center that that's all your people told me Jacqueline Archer a r c h e r granddad look just just granddad, don't put me on hold you have to see this sensitive the arctic circle near greenland various environmental agencies are suggesting that thousands of square miles of sea ice are beginning to break up the cause is as yet unknown, as are any casualty figures from populated areas of this polar region. That's where Dad is. We will bring you more on this breaking news story as it develops. Hey, hello. And in the wake hello. of the ongoing environmental crisis... Jacqueline Archer, well. you must be able to provide some information. Three million square kilometres of ice are being dumped into our ocean system. If all of the ice melts, we anticipate a global rise in sea levels of more than seven meters. 
seven meters. And it's not just us. It seems likely that our weather system will be affected. Temperatures will soon begin to drop. Unbelievable. How long have we gone? Because of climate change, the sea's a lot warmer than it used to be. The glacial ice will melt quickly, compromising the Gulf Stream. Why didn't you warn me about this? Uh, Professor Tom Archer described this exact scenario in the briefs that I sent from the Polar Alliance. Do you know how many ministerial briefs I get on my desk every day, Simon? You should have beaten down the door to deliver this. With respect, Prime Minister, we had no concrete evidence. GCHQ has been monitoring the situation in Greenland, but there was no way of knowing. Right. We need a multi-agency response. Evacuate all areas at risk. Raise the flood barriers. We'll try and arrange a call to the White House. Yes, but I want a meeting with Clover in 20 minutes. Emergency response room. Simon, you're going to have to get people up to speed on this. Stephen Archer. Mr. Archer, it's Simon Peterson, the Minister of the Environment. Can I speak to Tom, please? He's not here. I need to reach him urgently. Do you know where he is? He's working in the Arctic. In the Arctic? What the hell is he doing back there? His wife said something about an oil rig. Um... Well, if you hear from him, can you get him to call me immediately? There have been news reports. What's happening up there? Uh, the details are still sketchy. We, we don't know exactly. Tom's daughter is staying with me. She's very, very worried, and the Iron P have arrested her mother. Is that nothing? I, I'm sorry, Mr. Tom, I'm gonna have to go. Find your mother. Granddad! Without that, your father's a lot more resourceful than you might think. I've been giving him so much crap lately. That's what children do to their parents. It's your job. He knows that.
and the temperature is already below freezing. The cold weather from the north is colliding with the warmer currents in southern Europe. We're getting reports of Force 4 tornadoes touching down on Dorset, Hampshire, Surrey. What's this? It's the biggest cold weather front we've ever seen over the UK. The Gulf Stream shutting down. It's starting.
Well, they finally did it. They destroyed the Greenland Glacier. I can't believe you found us. We picked up a distress call from Halo's transport chopper this morning. Went to have a look. Lucky for you. Thank you. Both of you. I'm Lammer. This is Kenji. We're up here making a documentary about the polar bears. Tom Archer is Sarah Fitch. storm cometh. I read your book. Well, you're the one. <laughs> hey, could you, you sign this? Cool. It's going straight on eBay. Let me have a look at that. I have something that can help. What is this place? A U.S. military listening post. Mothballed after the last Cold War. It smells very bad, but <laughs> works very good. Okay. Listen, I really need to make contact with London. To let them know what's happening. Sure, we can help you out. CIA left all kinds of equipment when they shipped out. <laughs> Got that satellite. The spy satellite comes overhead every couple of hours. Kenji can fix anything. Figured out a way to bounce signals off of it. The horizon sea level has reached Hebrides, Viking, and Faroe Isles. It's over five meters high. Canada and Scandinavia are suffering similar catastrophic events. At the current speed, it will reach the north coast within two hours. We've only just begun to move people to higher ground. How are we going to get all these people away from the coast? We've got the air force standing up. Hello? Simon, can you hear me? Tom. Thank God. I don't have time for details. I don't know how long I've got this satellite. Weather well, changes have started. We've had hailstones the size of cricket balls. So there's a tidal surge coming in that we can't stop. Listen. That's only the start of it. It's already too late for some countries. The rise in sea levels will have already devastated Norway, Sweden, and Iceland. And the UK will be next. Look, after the flooding, temperatures are going to drop in the whole of the Northern Hemisphere. Minus 40. It could be worse. At those temperatures, the water's going to freeze and the UK will become an Arctic wasteland. Simon, nothing can survive. What do we do? Go south. Way south. Simon, you've got to evacuate the entire UK population. It's our only hope of survival. Get everyone out. Get them out now. Call your father, Tom. Your family's worried about you. Good luck. Sir, may I have a word? You mean we have to evacuate 70 million people? Not possible. Prime Minister, we, we don't have a choice. The weather is changing faster than anyone anticipated. The floodwaters will quickly freeze, entombing the country in a thick blanket of ice. We can't predict an upward rise in temperature for, for the foreseeable future. Meaning? The last ice age lasted 10,000 years. This one is just beginning. God, this is a mess. I've never even seen snow before. It's going to get much cooler from now on, Millie. Granddad, is that it? Ladies and gentlemen, friends, 
We're facing a situation of the utmost gravity. Our only hope of survival as a nation requires us to take the unprecedented step of evacuating every man, woman, and child from the country. The exodus south must begin immediately. Keep that line open till I've called my family, Kenji. Hurry up, Tonsan. She's moving out of range. It will take a moment to connect. <laughs> You have no idea how good it is to hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Dad, I can't hear you. Dad? Where are you? Uh, Mum's in the immigration detention centre in Dawkins. What? Why on earth? Something to do with her passport. I'm here with Grandad now, trying to get her out. Are you in London? You're in London. Christ. Millie, listen to me. Whatever you do, don't go outside. All right, you've got to stay where you are. You've got to find Mum and stay inside. Dad, I can't hear you. Get safe. What? Keep warm. And just stay there. I will. I will send help. Okay. Do not. What? Die. Dad. Dad. Dad, I can't. Dad, I can't hear you. I, I will. I will get you. Millie. Millie. It's gone, guys. Can we get it back? Too late. Try now, man. It's okay. I told you, didn't I? <laughs> Block one, unity seven. Let's go and find your mother. <laughs> on the ground suggest the evacuation program is being severely hindered by worsening conditions as temperatures in the northern hemisphere continue to freefall. The largest migration in history is underway, with millions of people forced from their homes to begin the journey south. With large parts of the country already cut off, fears are being raised that much of the population has already been stranded. The fate of these people is unknown, but what is certain that the world is facing a disaster on an unprecedented scale. Damn it. What is it? Did you warn them about what's coming? I tried, and we lost the satellite. So it's two hours, yeah? Before we get it back. Give or take. Two hours? I've got to get to my family.
I'm very glad to see you, Raphael. Steven, it's good to see you too. You know where my mom is? I think so. This way, follow me. They're long-range tanks, but I can't guarantee they'll get you to London, if that's what's on your mind. I'm a qualified pilot. You're qualified nuts if you try it. He saved my life. Twice. I owe him. Your choice, sister. If we stay here, we'll die. Maybe. Maybe not. What do you mean? Look, if I can get this plane up, you're coming with us, right? This place has been my life longer than I can remember. It's all I know. This is my home, so why would I leave? Anyway, if I'm going out, I couldn't think of any other place I'd rather be. Just me, Kenji, and the bears. You won't come back for us, right? Right. Keys. What are you doing here? I was going to say, oh, I was the other person. Oh. What is, what is going on? Why is it so cold? Dad's prediction came true. The glaciers collapsed and it's just going to keep getting colder. Tom was out on the ice. He was out on the ice. It's okay, Tom Mom. was there. I spoke to him. He's safe. But we have to get out of here. He's safe? Yes. Okay. Come on, we must go. Okay. Let's go. The Arctic conditions have forced the closure of all airports and grounded all aircraft as the evacuation process reaches breaking point. With transport links now compromised, there appears to be no way out for those left trapped in Britain. The government is promising that no one will be left behind. But as the weather worsens, the reality is that it now appears to be a case of every man for himself. Look us up when this is all over. You know where we are. Thank you, love. Again. Thank you. Take it easy, sweet stuff. Long way to go.
It's Tom Archer. He's been patched through on the emergency frequency. Tom? Simon! Tom! Simon, can you hear me? Simon, I need your help. I've just left Greenland en route for London. No, 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 Tom. Anywhere but here. There's, all the airports are closed. There's, there's nothing. London. London's finished, Tom. You gotta go south. Like you said. Listen, Jacqueline is in the Docklands Detention Center. My father and Millie have gone to find her. Tom, the PM has taken your advice. The whole country is being evacuated. If the weather continues the way it is, the whole city's gonna be beneath snow and ice by the time you get here. You'll, you'll never be able to find a thing. Simon, could you just please send me the, the exact GPS coordinates of the detention center? Of course. Good luck, Tom. There's nothing left for us to do here, Prime Minister. We have to devolve power to the local authorities and implement martial law. It's minus 30 degrees outside and the temperature's still dropping. If we don't leave soon, it'll be too cold for the helicopters to fly. Do you think people will forgive us? I don't think anybody's worried about blame right now, sir. Just survival. Good luck, sir. Going. The helicopter won't wait. But, Minister, aren't you coming? I think 40 million people deserve somebody from the government going the distance with them. And I've got a friend that I'm not letting down again. It's 
no way out here. We have to find a way to get higher up in the building. Look, there's an exit on the other side of the building leading to a stairway. We have to tunnel our way out. I think that's too dangerous. This is the transport bay, isn't it? Millie, what are you getting at? The buses can be our tunnel. Brilliant, Millie. Raphael, move out the way. Okay, watch out. Uh, uh, Raphael, help me. Grab the back. You can hear me. But they just called time. The United Kingdom just ceased to exist. Unbelievable. This should be England, but... Feels like the Arctic. So cold. <sighs> GPS is broken. Oh, I gotta find my family. Granddad. 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 
What is it? What have you got? Not something that is going to get better, I'm afraid. Granddad. I'm all right. Plenty of life in the old dog here. Good. side of the road. We hang over the motorways. We've got 30 feet of snow under us. And we're going to find my family without a GPS. Come on. You have to keep moving. to go back home. Well, my, my family's in Docklands. We have to get to them. London's off limits. It's too dangerous. Armed gangs are scavenging for whatever they can get. I need to find my family. No. You have to come with us, mate. For your own Wait. safety. Thanks, but no thanks. Come, no. Hold it. Now. I said, London's off limits. The killing. This is England. It was... Down there's our temporary barracks. Sergeant Doyle will escort you.
It's like this, right across the country. Millions of them. Just held up, wait to be evacuated. Isn't there any way of getting them out? We're just as marooned as they are. So this is where all the supplies are. Sitting around waiting for us to come. You need to lower your weapons. Oh yeah, who says? What, you run in the country now, are you? I'll tell you what. You give us what we need and we'll be on our way. Let my men go first. You're all right, boys. Calm down. Calm down. Why don't we just relax until the whole thing's wrong? Look what I told you, boys, John, lads. A GPS. Exactly what we need. Hand it over, darling. No! No! And it. Off we go. See you later. Are you Take this. If you're going to find anyone in love, well, you're going to need it. Thank you. That's it. Just look out for that slippery over here. Okay? My heart. Oh my God. Let me have a look. Might be sprained or something. You know, my dad used to talk about winter. How it was in the old days. Before climate change, like Christmas, that kind of thing. He gave me this toy once, a snow dome. You know those things? A little plastic sphere. You shake it and the snow goes flying around inside. I used to try and imagine what it'd be like. Plants dying. No water. So hot, you couldn't even breathe. I thought it could never get any worse. This... This is worse. Yeah. Should we keep going? Yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's a door! I think I'm almost through. moving. The pressure on this building must be increasing the whole time. Well, sooner or later it... Shh! Don't think about that. Just about finding a way out of here. <clears throat> it's not moving. It's me to stick. There's got to be a way out of here. Yourself. You're not that old. <laughs> Bring your lips to God's ears. <laughs>
close to the place. The hatch. The emergency hatch in the roof. Come, Richard. Here, help me. Be careful. Can you lift me up? Thanks. Uh. If the pain gas tank is still feeding these pipes, maybe we can blow this lift out of the shaft like a cork from a bottle. And and climb our way out. And then climb our way out. It's crazy. Yes. Let's get started. At least this stuff's still good for something. I think I was losing it out there. For a minute. It's okay. I'm sorry. You want to be with them. I understand. It's just, it's impossible out there. Suppose we have to soldier run. What? My father. When everything's got really rough. We have to soldier on. You just have to believe that they're going to be okay, Tom. be millions who haven't made it what makes my family so special well if they are anything like you let me have a look at this mm -hmm. oh on, no me, no really it's fine gentle. it's What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen to the world? To all of us? Those who make it far enough south, there's a chance. But if we don't learn from our mistakes, there's no telling for how long.
Mr. Archer. That's all right. I've had a good innings. We both know the ice is going to flatten this building. Look, I'm relying upon you to get them out. Can you do that for me, please? Westminster Bridge is down there somewhere. The house is in Parliament. Everything's gone. 
I know I shouldn't say this, but it's kind of beautiful. Docklands is due east, six kilometers. Let's go. Tried to stop him. I know. Yeah. We have to carry on. For Grandad and for Dad. We can't give up now. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Come on. It's a traffic tunnel. If we can find the limehouse tunnel, maybe we can get under it.
for a move is the GPS that you got from Soldier Boy. There's food, supplies, valuables under the ice. I just need something to find it. Please. If I don't have it, I'll never find my family. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to kill them and take it anyway. Oh, no! Less than half a mile away. That's good. Oh. Oh. That's it. He got me that last one. Show me. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm Show sorry. me. Show me. No. Please, sit down. Oh. Sit down. Idiot. Sorry, sit down. Sit down. Come on. No. Sit down. Some pressure on him. Keep some pressure on him. All right. Just hold on. All right. Just hold on. A minute. I can't believe we got this far. Yeah. I'm sorry. Why? Why are you sorry? I should have listened to you sooner. Why didn't I listen to you? Nobody ever listens to me. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. You're so close. You're gonna get to them now.
Jane. Oh, Mom. Oh, Mom. Oh, no. Oh, please. Please, Mom. No. No. Mom. Clean. Mom. Please, please, please. Oh. Oh, thank God. Oh, Mom. There is someone coming. saved our lives. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. None of us would if it wasn't for what... for Grandad. Well, that's who he was. I'm glad you got to see it. I suppose we just have to soldier on. Look! We haven't seen birds since it all began. What does it mean? means we're going the right way. Come on. family reunited, we headed south. I knew the road would be long and hard, but as we chased the sun, with each new day, our survival became more and more likely. Mankind had been given a second chance. This time it had to be different. We always knew that if we looked after the planet, it would look after us. Maybe now we will. <laughs> 